Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds. Today we're going to be building a type of hoverboard that I call the spider board. And it's a great little vehicle that you can ride around. Now you may have seen my last hoverboard project. I changed this one up by making it simple, cheap, and something that everyone can build. So please enjoy. Now to start the build off, we're going to get a hold of a set of 12 motors and wheels. I got these online and these were the only things I had to buy for the project. Now I'm going to start off by attaching some wires to the motors. After that, I'm going to solder the wires on to the motors and then you can go ahead and do that for all 12 motors. Now I'm going to get a piece of plywood and I'm going to put a line of epoxy down one side of the plywood. Now once I mix the epoxy up, you have to mix epoxy for around one minute. Once it's all mixed, I'm going to add on the motors that we're going to be using for our drive motors for this hoverboard. Now we're going to go ahead and do this for the other side. Now it's important that you always keep adjusting the position of the motors. They're going to want to twist around and stuff like that. So you have to make sure they're straight and all in line and you have to keep it like that until it dries, which should be a couple minutes. Now once all the motors are dry, we can add the wheels on as you can see here. Now before we start wiring the hoverboard, you should have a look at my electrical diagram here. This diagram is an exact copy of how I wired my hoverboard. As you can see, I wired it in series parallel. I did this because the drill batteries we'll be using to power it will be 12 to 20 volts and the motors we're using can only take up to 6 volts. So wiring it this way ensures the motors divide up the, all the voltage properly. So now we're going to start wiring the motors together. We're going to do it so that we wire the motors together in series, only three of them though. So that leaves us groups of three motors wired in series. And then after that, we will go ahead and wire the groups of three in parallel with each other and then attach them to the batteries and switches. Next, we're going to get two long wires and attach them to these little brass washers I have here. And basically what we're going to do with this is we're going to use it as something to attach to our battery. Now I want to use a drill battery so I want it to be removable so I can still use my drill. So this was the best solution I could come up with. And now as you can see when I touch the wires to the set of motors all of them spin. So now I want to integrate that into my switches. So again make sure to consult the diagram because this is kind of confusing and I skipped some parts. Basically, I'm now wiring up my switches to my batteries and motors so that I can use my switches to control each side of the hoverboard. Now I'm going to glue the wires down so they don't move around. And then I'll finish off the wiring that we have here. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and make a controller. For that, I use a couple dowels and glue it to the light switches. Then I'll go ahead and glue another dowel on at the bottom. Now I'm going to glue the wires together that leave the switch. And I'm going to glue them together all the way down to the hoverboard so that these wires don't separate and get into the tangle and stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a little more epoxy, mix it up, and then we're going to use this to attach the top of the hoverboard. So I'm going to get a few squares that I cut out of wood, and these are just going to help support the top part that will be holding your weight. And then I'll spread some epoxy onto the top of each motor. And then we'll go ahead and slide the top of the board on, which is just another piece of plywood. Now we can slip the battery into place, attach the connectors to the battery, and test it out with a switch. 
and it works. Now let's just put a few screws in the top of it and these screws are just going to go through those uh, wooden squares that we added before. And now we can go ahead and test it. Now as you can see someone can ride the hoverboard. But it wasn't working too great with one battery. It's, as you can see it died fairly quickly. So I went ahead and as you can see here I attached two drill batteries to it and this seemed to work a lot better and more reliably. One thing I would have done differently though is made more clearance on the bottom basically by having a smaller piece of plywood on the bottom because it rode very low to the ground, may have even been touching it a little bit. But it still worked fairly well. Now, as you can see you can also use it to move stuff if you don't want to bring the groceries in by hand you can have your hoverboard bring it for you. Also, if you're moving, you can pack up the boxes and put them on the hoverboard and have the hoverboard move those for you. So it's fairly useful, and all in all, it was a pretty fun project. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Feel free to like and subscribe and check out ways to support me to help me make more cool and better videos like this one. To see my other projects and buy parts you might need, you can check out my channel or my website joshbills.com. You can also follow me on my social networks to keep updated with my new content. Thanks.